Now we have a very exciting uh, couple that we want to introduce to you. They are a lot of fun to be around. Come to Dallas, you'll find out firsthand. And uh, we're excited. They're not actually in our Upline team, as many of you know, but they've been so gracious to join us today. They have an amazing story. And Dan, feel free to interject too at any time. I was going to say they're a lot of fun to be around, but are also a bad influence to be around as well. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing that uh, you know it's the not part of our of our specific team, but they are part of our team because we're all the knee can or the all the ASEA family. The ASEA family, and uh, so um, so look, I'd love to just introduce uh, Foster and Terry. Uh, Foster was a, has been a chiropractor and a kinesiologist for the last 27 years. He's also the director of um, of education for a national chiropractic company. Uh, he was single handedly responsible for bringing. Uh, ASEA and redox technology into the into a hospital um, as well. Uh, Terry, you've just been an amazing leader. Both of you have been amazing leaders, and uh, and really, um, we acknowledge you and respect you, and we're, we're really looking forward to hearing your story. And so, welcome to the call. Thank you for joining us today. Where are you joining us from? I couldn't remember where you lived. Uh, hi guys. We're hi. right here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, great. We are in Patterson, New York. I thought it was New York, but oh. I wasn't one hundred percent. Fantastic! Well, I'm, I'm so glad. I wasn't sure if you were going to be on the on the road and calling, but we're glad that uh, glad to hear from you. Yeah, thank well, you. Thanks for having us, guys. We're excited it's to be honor. here. Hi, Danny. Um, yeah, we actually did just get home. As you can see, we were moving around. The dogs are so excited and hyped up because we're we've been gone all day that we're like trying to maneuver them so they don't whine and squeak their balls the whole time while we're on here. We took the squeaky balls away <laughs> and the balls that are old with no squeakers, they have those. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we can, we, we we can, can totally relate. relate. Yes. And, and by the way, yes, Foster looks young enough to be um, only in practice for 27 years, Thank but you. it's over 35. 35 oh, years. Wow. 35 years. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. He's getting well, younger. Hey, yeah. You know, we were, uh, I'd like to hear just a little bit about your journey. I mean, in particular, you know, Terry, you were really dealing with some pretty major challenges. And I think it's fair to say that, you know, see has saved your life. And, in, in a way, would you mind just sharing what was what was life like before? What were you going through, and what kind of led you to this? Uh, yeah, what led you to see you to to see in this whole journey? Well, again, thanks for having us. I guess I'll start. Yes, um, it actually will be eight years in a month. August two thousand ten was when we were introduced to ASEA um, by a friend from California, the opposite coast of us. And um, he was a network marketer and he, you know, he wanted us really to join his business. We were not network marketers and we didn't really want to do a business. So we kind of just ordered it to shut him up. Um, just as a favor, we joined the business. We weren't planning on doing it. He didn't know though that I was really sick and I had been sick for many, many years. Um, and everything in my body hurt. I, I, you know, we don't, we don't name medical conditions, but um, everything in my body hurt, my muscles, my joints, I had extreme fatigue, I couldn't find words anymore, I was depressed, I was, oh gosh, you name it, I had it, I really pretty much shut myself off from the world. I was a personal trainer, but I was having a very difficult time um, lifting weights for my clients anymore, I had my own personal training studio. And so, I, but I did everything right, I was one of those people that was so I said I was the sickest, healthiest person you know. So I did everything, everything that you guys, if, you, if you've done it, I had done it. And, um, and so decided just to add this silly saltwater network marketing product just to the mix. And, you know, we, we did the wrong thing. We ordered one case to share between the two of us. And I am so blessed and thankful that I had results in three days instead of that, you know, some people don't have results for, or, or feel results for three months. And I did in three days. I literally got out of bed and could walk. All my discomfort was gone. Um, I was like a new person. And I said to Foster that day, I said, sweetie, it's got, it's got to be this stuff, this, this 
ACA, a a c a stuff, <laughs> a c stuff, and he said, "No, you can't be." He goes, he goes, "It's a sports product," and that's how we were introduced to it. We were talked, we were talked about uh, the cardiovascular benefits and the athletic benefits. That's why we were doing it, and um, so he said, "It can't. That, that, this is a sports product." But on day five, I was doing even better. On day eight, he called me and he goes, "I feel really good." He goes, "I have like." He goes, I, I have this great mental clarity. He goes, my mouth can keep up with my brain. And we always laugh because if you know Foster, when he says his mouth can keep up with his brain, <laughs> Danny's laughing. <laughs> He's a good talker. He's a good talker. Um, but he was in his, his 50s. He's going to be 61 this year, guys. 61. Look how fantastic he looks. Um, yeah. So <laughs> on day eight, he said he felt really good. And he goes, it is this stuff, you know, I'm feeling good. And that was, that was the beginning for us. He started to read Dr. Gary's book and about halfway through um, the science of healing reveal, he said, put it down and he said, Terry, this is why you're better. This is why I feel good. This is not a sports product, just a sports product. He said, this is going to change healthcare. This is going to change the world. So wow. for me, I didn't care. I just felt good, but he's a researcher and he was blown away. So Terry, wow. um, you, you had those benefits after three days with, with your health, but yeah. you got your sports performance. How was your sports performance? Oh, gosh, <laughs> you know what? I wasn't even, I don't, I don't even know, Danny. I was so happy to not being in bed anymore. Um, I mean, I got my whole life. You know what was big for us was the, the launch of the company. The first convention was a few weeks later. And we had never done network marketing. We had never been to a convention. But we really were like, you know what? We've got to go find out what this is. Like, this is so big. And so, you know, when uh, Julie was saying how she went to convention for two days and people thought she was crazy, leaders are born at convention. And Julie shows that. She went to convention and look at where she is today. And that's the same thing for Foster and I. If we had not gone to convention, we wouldn't be on this Zoom today. We'd still probably be taking a SIA, but we would not have been triple diamonds. We would not have built this as a business. Now, did you, did you go at, and meet the, the founders at Apply In before the convention? No, we weren't network marketers. No. So we didn't, a fly in, we didn't know what a fly in was for probably four years. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it was at the convention that you had met the founders and that was, yeah. that was really a defining moment for you then. It was. It was. You know why? We saw, you know, Burtis Norton was walking around and Jim Pack and Dr. Gary and Gosh, um, it was like all of them and yep. Kurt and they were walking around and they wanted to hear your story. And I was like, they were real. These were real people with tears in their eyes, wanting to hear my story. What happened to me? These people that didn't need to listen to me, but wanted to. And we got to see people, you know, what for me, when I decided I could do the, the business, you guys, was when I saw Trish Schwankler up on stage and you guys know Trish, she's all over and she was excited and she goes, and I'm thinking, oh, you know, great, look at her, she's awesome. And then she goes, I have a PhD. And I was like, I bet you do. And she goes, a public high school diploma. And I thought, oh, wow. I said, well, I ha that caught my ear because that's all I have is a public high school diploma. And I said, wow, so if this woman could do it, maybe I could do it. And so that kind of like got me going, even though I really wasn't going to share the business opportunity in the beginning. I was just about the product, which was a big mistake. Um, but I, I said, I could do this. I could do this. That's the biggest wow. regret we find people have these days. We, we or they don't share uh, a seat with people from day one. So regardless of what they're going through, they don't share it from day one. So I waited five months. I know, uh, but it took a long time to make a decision to, to listen to people after being asked or told about it 20 times. But um, yeah, so um, we know what it can do for people. We know what it's done for us. It, it becomes a responsibility, doesn't it? You don't want to keep it to yourself. It does. And, and what I learned, because I was embarrassed of network marketing. I was one of those people who thought that network marketing was a pyramid. I was like, oh yeah, one of these pyramid schemes. Listen, that was my ignorance. I just didn't understand the power of network marketing. Um, but I was, I wish people say, what's one thing that you would do different? I would have shared the opportunity from day one. We were embarrassed of the opportunity. And so we shared the product, the product, the product. And, and what we learned is, you know, people will tell you, gosh, 
if this works on me, I'm going to shout it from the rooftops. I'm going to tell everybody. But the truth of the matter is people get better and they go about their lives. They, they're excited. They got their life back and, and they just want to go live their life. And that's great. But I said, if you can help get one person, if you can get a Danny Doyle or a Bart and Melissa Cotter, talk to them about the opportunity, they will talk to thousands of people and you can help thousands of people with their health conditions and with their financial um, situation. So that was, that was my biggest regret is that we waited so long to share the opportunity. Yeah, I was, I was totally ignorant to the fact that network marketing was a, a business model that worked. And I used to think these people in this industry were crazy and I used to stay real and truly. I wouldn't go back to anything else now. I wouldn't go back to working for anybody or in business or, I mean, what an amazing opportunity. I mean, we've got a company that ticks every box. So, uh, no, we've, we've got a, we've got an awesome gift. It's like Alan Noble says, you know, he is, he is um, psychologically unemployable. I am too. <laughs> no way I could go back to, I mean, I had my own business, but I could just never, I can't imagine doing anything else. That, that, yeah. that I is. love what Eric Worre says. He said, you know, network marketing may not be perfect, but it is absolutely a better way. We're, we feel so blessed every day for the freedom that this is, that this is created. I was just thinking about your situation. You know, Foster, I mean, it must have been incredibly frustrating to see Terry going through all these incredible challenges when you're doing everything. And you're, of course, into, you know, as a health professional as well. And just, you know, the challenge, the frustration. So the lights, um, tell us about the lights coming on. And I'd love to hear how you, how you move this into, you know, when you realize the power of this technology. And, and I'd like to hear about the journey of bringing this into the hospital. Into your patient base. Yeah, your patient base, exactly, in the hospital. And you've got one of your children on the couch joining in. Uh, do you see him? Yeah. <laughs> That's Sebastian. He's actually an Australian shepherd, even though we know Australian shepherds are really from Australia. <laughs> oh, yes. Our favorite dogs are Australian shepherds. Say hi, oh, Sebastian. Hello. <laughs> oh, he's gorgeous. Very handsome. Okay, so first of all, so the beauty of this business model is as a chiropractor, I get paid for what I do. As a network marketer, I now get paid for what she says. <laughs> I haven't had to say a word on this yet, which is awesome. So, um, so how did it change? So I had a wife, so, you know, I tell people that I was sort of helpless and hopeless. So we had tried about 10 different doctors, every Western medicine, every Eastern medicine, acupuncture, colonics, didn't matter what it was. We tried it to try to get her better and we couldn't get her better but I'm the healer, I'm the guy that people come to, but I couldn't help my own wife. So that was a very difficult time, um, just trying to help and just, you know, shooting blanks. So then when we go on this athletic product, so this was no placebo, because we're told it's an athletic product. And on day three, she said she feels great. And I said, awesome, I'm going to work. So I came home and she was feeling great. And same thing day four, day five. And she's trying to now tell me that this salt water network marketing athletic product just gave her a new immune system. And I wasn't buying that. So it was like, you know, she said, I'm never going off. And it's like, good for you. I'm going back to work. So uh, on the eighth day was when I had, I had stomach issues. And that was awesome. I had seasonal issues. And they were awesome. But when my mental clarity came back, you know, like in a flash, I called her and I said, I don't know what's going on here. So when I came home, I said, something's weird because, oh, I'm sorry, weird is an American word for strange. So I'm gonna clear that up for Danny. <laughs> uh, so I said, I don't know what's going on. I said, it's just, I just feel amazing. And she said, now you look. So I started reading Gary's book and it takes me a couple of days to get through half of it because it's not exciting. And that's when I said, <laughs> okay, this is why you're better. This is why I'm better. The guy who told us this was an athletic product is an idiot. And this is going to change the world. Okay, so we go to the convention, which changed our future. And after seeing all these people crying who said, I was supposed to lose my leg, but I didn't. I was supposed to get my affairs in order, but I didn't have to. When we saw that, we're skeptical New Yorkers. That's, those stories don't resonate so easily with us. So on the plane black coming back home, it was like, okay, we're going to share this with some friends and some family and see what happens. And we did. And the family members who trusted us, and it wasn't many of them, uh, 
they had great results and friends had great results. So I said, okay. Now I had been the chiropractor in a hospital for six months in New York. That was the 27, it took me 27 years to get into the hospital. That was my dream. Chiropractors, they don't let many in hospitals here. So I had been there only for a handful of months and now I have a saltwater based network marketing product <laughs> in the hands of the chiropractor in the hospital. So I I'm tell sorry. people, they didn't throw me a parade when I got there, they weren't throwing me another parade when I brought in a saltwater network marketing product. But I said, you know what? I've read enough of the science. This is real. And if they come and try to throw me out, I will be able to defend myself. So I'm going to give it to five of my patients who have what she had, which was, we don't know what that is. We just know these people are sick. Nobody gets them better. And let's see what happens. And of the five, two were better in three days. Two were better in three months, and one was better in about six weeks, but they all had the same result. So that's really catching my interest. And then the one that really caught my interest was when, during that time, one of my favorite patients, a really charismatic, fun, funny guy, just like Danny Doyle, who's one of my favorite patients, comes in and he looked horrible. And I said, are you okay? And he said, no. And I said, come back. So I took him to the back room and I said, what's going on? He said, uh, it's, I've had a great run, I'm 72, but they told me that I have something in my chest and I need to get my affairs in order. And they're giving me about five weeks and they're gonna do a surgery on me, but they don't think that I'm gonna live through the surgery. And we cried on each other. And I said, okay, you're gonna take this stuff and I hear it's good for the immune system. So maybe after that surgery, you'll do better than they think you'll do, and I'll see you again after the surgery. So they had to do another uh, CAT scan on him a few days before his surgery, and I'm gonna take all the profanity out because I know Australians don't use profanity. <laughs> and the doctor showed him his scan results and said, what are you doing, Tom? And Tom said, why? He said, why is this thing improving? So he told the pulmonologist, the lung doctor, uh, I'm taking the magic water from the chiropractor downstairs. <laughs> you know, a New York doctor is going to love that in a group of hundreds of doctors. And he said, I don't know what you're talking about, but we are not taking that body part out this week. We're instead going to just give you another three months and then redo the scan. So he brought the scan down to me and we cried on each other again. And I said, I didn't know this stuff does anything like this. And so that was almost eight years ago, and he's fine. And now we've been able to share that globally. And once you have just one of those cases, and you get paid in tears and hugs and goosebumps, you're hooked for life. And shame on you if you don't share it with everyone, because you're going to change lives. Wow. That's what a, what a powerful story. It's amazing the gift that we have with this technology. And uh, I just think we got a responsibility to share this th with the world. So I, uh, I, re I recall listening to you say you had a, you set up a bunch of boxes as people came in. Yes, did I did. Oh, that's funny. Yes, so what I did was I'm busy. I didn't have time to discuss mitochondria and redox signaling, which is all we did in the beginning. We didn't oh, really no, have any videos. People, she used to keep calling it a pyramid. Right. Oh, you know, one of those pyramid things or one of those pyramid things. Right, so what I did was I got 10 boxes and I did four, three, two, one, and I made it in the shape of a pyramid. And as people would walk by that room, as they came back to the treatment room, they would stop and say, what is that? And I would say, oh, that's the most powerful product in the world and it's not a pyramid. <laughs> and they would say, what are you talking about? It's like, we'll send you information. So it, that was just piqued their interest, got them to say, I want to know what that is, and we send them information. Fantastic. Well, I, I, I totally love how you, how you shared your story. You've been incredibly compliant, and as part of the Medical Advisory Board, you've done... <laughs> That's my job, sir. You know, you went back that's it. You can tell your story. People get the gist of it. You know, you can, like you said, how did you feel before? How did you feel after? I mean, you can really get your story across. I never that. said mesothelioma, lung cancer. I never said any of that stuff. <laughs> I would never. That would be inappropriate. Oh. Yeah. 
I just want to clarify something for the Aussies too. You uh, you actually use the word shooting blanks. It means something totally different here. What you meant was you had no answers for Terry. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, we, know that too. We, know, we know that meaning too. That's very funny. We do know that meaning, but that's another medical condition that we're not talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. So you guys have seen so many changes over the years from, you know, the early days where we didn't have the tools or the testimonials and everything had to be created. I mean, and now, you know, we, we recommend, as you said, Terry, earlier, we recommend everybody to take the product for at least three months and to get on a product plan to, to suit whatever they're going through as well. Yeah, we, we will not, we're, we're pretty tough here. If somebody won't make a three month commitment, because when people say, I'll try it for 30 days, we just, we're tough. We just say, you know what? Now's not the time for you then. If you won't make a three month commitment, because you could be that one that is the 31st day or the, the 35th day, and it's not fair to you, it's not fair to the company, um, to do that it's so it's like make a three-month commitment and um let it give it time to change your life whether you feel it or not and we're also being very clear now um i love that the genetic study you know a lot of people say well why didn't they do the genetic study on four ounces a day instead of eight and they had their reasons and they were great reasons and it helps us so now it's like you know what you want the best benefit eight ounces a day. That's the sweet yeah. spot. That's where we want you at. So if you want to start at two ounces twice a day the first month, that's great. But then we're going to want you up on four ounces twice a day because we know what that's going to do for your genetics. Unless if somebody says, listen, I, I mean, if we, people have financial issues and some people can't afford two cases a month. We get that. I got better on two ounces twice a day. Well, I take eight ounces twice a day now. Um, so again, if somebody says I can't afford it, of course, two ounces twice a day, awesome stay on it but if you really really i mean if you can make it happen do at least two cases a month yeah absolutely in australia if they can't afford it we know that they can all just go borrow it from danny doyle so it's not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm still on half a bottle a day i mean you know for three years now um so i, I wouldn't reduce that amount uh too concerned about anything that's going to come back everything that i've ever experienced so, you know, we know that's healing an optimal level and, uh, you know, people with various health challenges may take more or may take less depending on what they're going through. But Suzanne and I, we're on a half a bottle a day each and that's, that's it. That's where we're sitting. That's us so too. And it was her fault. So I used to do two ounces twice a day. Because you said, I'm so healthy, I'm good, no I problems. don't need it. And then she started badgering me and said, I want you to drink more. And I said... Why do I need more? They say two ounces twice a day because I'm so smart. And she said, you see what's going on with people. She said, I want you preventing everything. And how could I argue? So she made me go up to eight. Then she made me go up to 12. Then she, you can tell this woman loves me. So now I'm at 16 and I love it. And we feel amazing. Yeah. Well, I heard a different story. I mean, Terry told me that you had that disease called aging and she didn't like the way you were looking, so she wanted you to increase your oh, that's not true, Danny. <laughs> Take the gloves off, Danny. I'm all up for it, brother. <laughs> Just to let the guys know we have a lot of fun like this all the time. That's each other. the beauty of this, is the yeah. friendships and the family. Like we're gonna have so much fun in Ireland. It's like, you know, that is we've made so many wonderful relationships in this company. Um, relationships that just can't be broken. We all have this bond and whether you live across the pond or in Asia, wherever it is, when we come together on these diamond trips, when we come together on these trips, it's a bond that lasts forever and you just build these wonderful, wonderful relationships. You know what? So a quick story, five seconds. So you think that Danny's obnoxious in a great way and I'm obnoxious in a less great way. The most obnoxious one on this call, you all may know is Melissa. So when we were at <laughs> convention, I didn't know Melissa and she made a wise guy comment that I couldn't believe had just come out of her mouth directed towards me <laughs> at like two in the morning at convention. And that's when we decided, I think we could be friends with Bart and Melissa. <laughs> It's an Irish heritage. I'll blame the Irish. <laughs> blame somebody. Exactly. I've, I've got to say, though, the first, 
the first mm -hmm. time that I actually was introduced to you, Terry, it was amazing. You were on a charge up call. I was walking on the beach with our dogs and you read out a statement. I wish I had it on me today. We're just away from home. You read out a statement on what it meant to be an entrepreneur. And all I can remember about it, because I, I would have read it had I had it here, and I'll put it in our next newsletter so everybody can get it, because it's really profound. It says that you are allowed to complain and whinge for 10 minutes a day. That's it. That's all I remember about it. The rest of it was amazing. But, I'm, on, but yeah. I'm thinking, oh, gosh, that would be so good for Bart. Just keep, keep for me for 10 minutes. <laughs> I thought I'm going to... At the time, I thought, I wonder if, I'm, if that's actually possible. But, um, but it really stuck with me. It was amazing what you read out. And I just remember, absolutely, it was in, indelible, the etchings on my brain. I thought, I can't wait to meet you both because you're phenomenal business builders because, like you've already described, you completely know, you absolutely know the future of ASEA when it comes to the future arriving early with these molecules. You fully embrace that. You're changing lives, you're traveling the world. And, and I was curious, Foster, with people on the line who don't know anything about the medical professionals board, do you mind just enlightening us a little bit on what that's about and, and who you're surrounding yourself with in terms of the quality of the people with, at the company as well? Absolutely. Um, so it's a uh... I say it's the biggest honor that I've had in my life besides being married to this woman and having my children. Um, when they asked me, it was, uh, I said to them, you sure you want to do this? I said, because I think that there's a lot of smarter people out there. I just was one of the first and I had it in a hospital and they actually gave me the non-disclosure agreement because I talk way too much <laughs> and I find all the secrets and I would call the company and say, you guys published it's like, don't talk about it. So, um, it's a real honor. So there are seven of us at this time. Um, and so they took sort of a cross section. So we have uh, two chiropractors, we have a couple of two, three medical doctors, um, we have a physical therapist. Uh, it's an amazing group of people and we're actually part of the marketing department. So we're actually, um, Becky Cox uh, is in charge of us. And so they sort of bounce ideas off of us about how it is we might look at doing things. Um, and then our job is to take what could be incredibly complicated if people want to talk about mitochondria and the Krebs cycle and all the things we should never, ever talk about, and how it is that we take the complex and boil it down to simple messages and where it is we might take those messages and then Becky and her team take it and they go and they make these awesome different ways of getting the message across. So to be able to sit down at a table with these people who are just really, really bright and all have the same mission, you know, this moral imperative that we must get this out and how do we do it best? Uh, it's just a real honor. Mm -hmm. uh, Fantastic. Yeah, well, you, you, you do your job extremely well and it's, it's, it's fun to have seen you serving in that capacity for so many years now. And I, we are so excited to be catching up with you soon in Dallas and then in Ireland as well. So we, I don't know if there's anything, Dan, that you would like left to say. Uh, there's so much to say. Yeah, yeah, it's a really good point. We are going to catch up. We've, we've been in the business for a very short time, but caught up over the years. We've had so much fun. There's a lot of stuff that we don't promote or talk about in a SEA, and it's the, the lifestyle and the, the gifts, the prizes, the trips. Where, where have you guys been? What has it done for you? And just with the, with the incentives too, I mean, I, I really utilise the incentives to, and promote it to the team to build that solid foundation of their business, to build the, you know, the correct business building practices to, to have that <clears throat> foundation so they're building it in the right way. From the incentives, the trips, the gifts, the prizes, everything in the background that we don't promote, what can you say about all these things? I mean, it's just amazing. Wow. That, you know, that was, that was really crazy for us. I mean, when we won uh, Enroller of the Year, I think that was our second year? 2012. 2011. Oh, I thought it was 2011. I don't know. Um, we were sitting at convention. We never, guys, we were just talking to people and sharing. We didn't know, like, about winning awards and winning trips and all that. And we're sitting in the audience, and it was, like, the top 10 enrollers of the year. And so they were doing 10, 9, 8. I didn't even think we were in the top 10, like, top 5. And they get to number 1, and they call our name, and we were like, what? 
it was like, oh my gosh. I was scared to death. I'd never been on stage. I was like, I'm not talking. I'm not talking. Um, but that was like our biggest, that was our first um, big award that we won. And winning Business Builders of the Year, we were the first ones to win that. That was a shocker. But the trips, that, I mean, guys, we've been to Hawaii three times. We've been to Costa Rica, Panama. Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Cruise, cruises. Italy. Italy. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Where Costa else Rica. Is that one I said. Uh, so many trips. What we've decided is that we're going to win every trip. It just is. It's like every year we're going to win the trips. And when we see the trip, we just make a plan. We're going to win it. Uh, we haven't missed a trip. No, we won't miss a trip. No. Um, and it's, uh, it's incredible. So, you know, one of our mentors said that as leaders, you must win the it trips. Yep. You must have the company pay your way so your team can see it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's all great now. You know, we can do these Facebook Live events and we can show them just what it looks like. One of our mentors said, don't talk to them while you're away. Make them miss you. <laughs> so that they will want to be with you the next time. And we don't do that. Uh, Terry's nicer than that, so she wouldn't let me do that. Um, but it's, uh, the trips are incredible. And it's like, you know, we used to travel, you know, a fair bit, but not like this. We've won 20-something trips with this company. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, we Let won. them pay the way. It's why, amazing. Why should we? Let them pay the way. It's, it's great. And you know what? It's not, I wouldn't even say it's winning. I mean, you guys, right, we earn it. We really all work really hard. We earn these trips. And I just want to say, whether it's the first year, the second year, when we got in, um, the, the, our upline said, this is a three to five year business plan. Like, don't think anything less of that. So we never even thought about that we were going to hit diamond in the first year or the second year. We, we just didn't have that in mind. We just knew that this was a five year minimum business venture and we needed to work it. And I think that's really what makes the difference in this business. You have so many people that come in and because they work really hard for a month or two months and they're not making all this money, they think network marketing doesn't work. Mm. I said, what you're doing today is what you get paid for in about three months. So the work you're doing, and so people want that instant gratification. So even if people aren't signing up today, those are the people, remember, eight to 12 exposures. Those are the people who are gonna sign up in a month and it's gonna take them a couple of months to get going. So it's, um, just know this is a, a, a business that you're gonna be in and it's going to change your future forever. Get in, work hard, and don't stop. Just don't stop, keep going. Yeah, it's a good point. Your, your investments, your time, and you know, working hard three to five years and setting yourself up for the rest of your life beats working for the next 30 to 50, doesn't it? Thank you. Right. Exactly, to have it taken away from you. Yeah. Exactly. But, they, but people don't want to do that. They want to be rich in three months. And that's that, that's that thing about network marketing that, that you know, people think, oh, I, I want, I think I'm not making a ton of money in three months. So I, it doesn't work. And that's a shame. That's yeah. a shame. That's you guys have been really big proponents of creating vision boards and getting your mindset in the right place, building the right, a great team. Maybe just touch on that for a minute and then just, and uh, yeah, tell us about well, that. That was how we got to Diamond was goal statements, goal statements and vision boards. So we put together, we worked really hard, learned how to do a proper goal statement, had our teams doing it, and every single day. Morning and night, we read our goal statements, and every single day we looked at our vision boards. Um, you know, we believe in the, the um, you know, it's what you put out there comes back to you. It's the power of positive thinking. It's um, the law of attraction. And so absolutely, and goal statements, I think, are one of the hardest things to do because it's that fear of failure or that fear of success. Am I gonna do it? Am I not gonna do it? But we, that's how we got to Diamond. And I visualized walking across the stage. That's in my goal statement. Walking across the stage is Diamond. Um, walking along the beach with my husband, watching the sunset, hanging out with our SIA family. All those things that I knew would be on a Diamond trip that would, you know, what would change for us. That's what I visualized, so yeah. Okay. So. You invited us here, so I'm going to take an extra three minutes. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking, though, I mean, 
Terry, Terry wants to spend so much time with you and uh, all those goal statements with walking on the beach and she actually knows you and she still wants to do that. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> How do we mute that guy? <laughs> <laughs> would have been muted. Suzanne would have muted him years ago. Oh, you know I love you. Okay, this is how we got to Diamond. We have, so our first mentor was Kevin Porter. Yeah. He was Triple Diamond. Who was advisory Paul Council. Tyra's business partner. Triple Diamond on the advisory council. And my mentor. Someone asked him, how do you become a diamond? So he wrote this up and we read this every single day. You know what? And you might want to, because it is a little bit longer than three minutes, I think. But we could always post it so they could read it. It's a really powerful. I think we'd love to hear it. Uh, okay, so okay, okay, let's go. Okay. How about this? How about if we write it? Oh, I'm so powerful. Okay. Okay, you ready? Here you go. Yeah. Okay. Number one, this is your life. Be 100% responsible for it. All of it. Taking 100% responsibility stops the excuses, the justifications, and the whining about whose fault it is that I am where I am. Here is your mantra. Today I take 100% responsibility for my life, my marriage, my work, my bank account, my kids, my dog, my car, my house, my clothes, my attitude, my smile, etc. period. Being responsible makes it possible for me to change anything I want to change. Handling responsibility, handing responsibility to others saps my power, my talents and my gifts given to me by my creator. Today I am 100% Foster and Terry Malmed. Who is going to tell us otherwise? Number two, always be recruiting. Have the mindset that you will have 100 personal sponsors by the time you hit triple diamond and 50 to hit diamond. That is pr the price I gladly commit to paying for the freedom I so dearly desire. If I get there with smaller numbers, so be it. Yet I commit to these numbers for my future, my family, my, feed my freedom. Number three, read the leadership books. There is a reason people have written them. They have climbed the mountain that we are currently climbing. They can give me seeds of greatness that will push me to and over the top. I know that there is a mountain right behind the one I am climbing and I will need their help again. So I will read the books, spend 30 to 60 minutes daily reading the books. Successful diamonds read the books. Can it be any clearer? Number four, to be in the top 5% of network marketers in ASEA to achieve diamond and above. Oh, wait, you need to be in the top 5% of network marketers in ASEA to achieve diamond and above. The good news is 90% of the people will never even try to get into the top 5%. They simply do not believe that they can. That makes the journey so much easier. Knowing the numbers makes my job simple. Just believe you can then have the will to say, I will do it, and I must do it for my future, my family, and my freedom. Believe you can be in the top 5%. You can, and we need you to take your place on stage. Number five, develop tenacity and a fierce habit of persistence in accomplishing the goal of becoming diamond. Have a vice grip view of your vision of walking across the stage at the convention and being announced to thousands of attendees. How does it feel? What will that look like in your bank account? Imagine and envision how people will look at you. Wow, act like a diamond today with your core beliefs and with humility, not with ego. Five, stay in constant touch with your mentor. Expect to be held accountable for your actions and results. These are simply measuring sticks of your progress, not personal judgments of your worth or talent. We are all students all of the time. Remain in student mode, even as a triple diamond. To be more, you must learn more. Then react. To take action again and again. Number six. I love this one. Stop listening to negative people. Turn off the TV set and spend your time creating your future. When people get negative, excuse yourself politely and move on. Negativity is poison for your life. Think about this, you have a glass of pure, clean water. You drop in one drop of arsenic, not enough to kill you, or maybe not enough to make you sick, but would you drink it? Of course not. 
Negative people and comments, TV, news, magazines, articles are like drops of poison in your day. How much of it can you endure before it changes your mind, your attitude, your future, and your life? Get rid of it. Walk away from it. A little of it every day is a cancer that will affect the long-term outcome of your life. Seven, do everything with a heart at peace. Be the calm in the storm. Take big action with quiet confidence. You have a clear vision so you know the outcome. Expect the best to manifest every day. Ask yourself this question, how can it get any better than this? Several times a day and look for the answer to the question. We all have daily opportunities to share the ASEA story, to serve people, to show your heart to others. You never know where each contact, conversation, or action will take you. Trust yourself and expect miracles to show up every day. This is like fast forward. Uh, so next one was, so be a fast forward member and mentor it for others. Win the contests, go on the trips, make the company pay your way. Learn to duplicate with the system in the starter kit. Know your tools and your information. Be a professional. And last, help others recognize their gifts and talents. Show them the way, our way to a better future. Whether they say yes or no, in or out, love them all. This is an important part of our journey. ASEA is bigger, better, and more important than we know. Trust that knowledge. Be 100% responsible for your outcome. Your mantra is, I am ASEA and I am grateful. And this was my mentor, Kevin Porter. And he's the one that said, Terry, you will never be successful in this business. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. He said, you'll never be successful unless you read the books. I said, we need to read the books. What books am I supposed to read? <laughs> he goes, you have to do personal development. I said, what's that? <laughs> and so he was the one that taught me about doing personal development, the goals and all of that. Isn't that beautiful? And that was literally um, seven and a half years ago. I think he wrote that. That's so, That's isn't that beautiful? We will send it to you so you can post it. Yeah, it's amazing. One of the best things I've ever heard in my entire life. That's Isn't it great? Absolutely. I, I love that man, yes. And so he was such a great, great upline and mentor and um, a big part of this company as well. So that has sat on our refrigerator, by the way, every day since then. That is, that is on our refrigerator for years and we read it and we remind our team and we post it. And so there you go. I'm glad we got to share it. Good idea. Yeah, everyone appreciated it. There's a lot of messages coming through that everyone loved it and it was amazing. So, yeah. Awesome, awesome. We will get that over to you today, we promise. I just want to add thanks so much, you two. I absolutely enjoyed it as well. But I want to throw in a little bit of a chat with everybody here. So on these webinars, we would really like you to increase the numbers, people getting on them, because there's a lot of people who should have been on this webinar right now to have listened to what was just spoken and they have missed out. And for you that are on here without your team being on here, I'm sorry to say it's your fault. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't say that very often, but you know what? People need to hear this because unless you can catch up with Foster and Terry at the overseas events, we have some amazing speakers, but I've got to say you two have been my favorite. And I can say that because Ed Weens is not on. <laughs> I just, I just kept. So, um, yeah, so thank you so much. And, and please bring more people to these webinars so that you can absolutely have your life changed, which all of us has been today. So you two are absolute legends. We love you. We love you completely. And we're so grateful that you've been able to be here with us today. And uh, Danny, you, you can take some cheap shots in person next time you see them. But I'll have, you'll be with you. He can try, but he's going to lose like he does every single time. It's the That's only true. thing he loses at. And I have to just say, <laughs> thank you so much for that beautiful comments. And you know what, Melissa, being on that stage with you at the last convention, I don't know what our title was, Women of Business. So I don't know what it was, but... You guys have such an amazing upline in Bart and Melissa and Danny, and she is so eloquent in speaking. I was blown away. I'd never got to hear you speak, Melissa, and I was just like, wow, wow, amazing. So, you know, you don't realize, it, the grass always looks greener on, you know, when you're, when you're looking. You guys have amazing upline. Like, be so appreciative is all I can say, because you will, you, if you don't know it now, you will when you realize well, how amazing. We have just as amazing 
cross lines. So thank uh, you so much. Thank you. We're honored. We thank love you. working with you. Um, incredible the friendship as we, we've made over these years. And uh, I do look forward to having a crack at you at Boston next time I see you. <laughs> Take a shot, brother. It won't go well. Tell Suzanne I miss her. I can't wait to see her. I assume that she's locked in the dungeon someplace over there. <laughs> We better end this. It's going to get ugly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Love you guys. Thank you so much for having Thank us. Thank you. Uh, we're honored and we're going to want the favor return soon. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank Absolutely. you guys very much. Thanks, guys. A real pleasure. Thank you for bye -bye. having us. Bye bye. Congratulations bye, on everything. Everyone. You guys are killing it. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> bye. Uh, so amazing. I'm so glad that you were all online to witness um, Terry and Foster because. Uh, as you can see, they're remarkable leaders and they have a lot of fun. And I think that's probably, that's a real key thing for me too, because I'm really quite introverted and a bit conservative and, and the fun factor is just so absolutely important in this business. So thank you all for being on for that.